Stay tuned and let's take a look at this brand new Marvel Legends binary. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends binary. Now in the US, this is going to be the last Walgreens exclusive of 2021 before Hasbro switch up the theme. So we've had a whole cosmic year with four Marvel Legends, starting with the Fallen Silver Surfer, then we got Nova, Quasar, and the final one is Binary. Hasbro have already confirmed that in 2022, they are switching up the theme to something they haven't done before. So Binary should hopefully get in people's hands before the end of the year. Obviously, I am in the UK. We do not have Walgreens, so I got mine from In Demand Toys. Much appreciated as always. So yeah, the figure is very nice. Obviously, it's a Star Jammer. That's a whole nother Marvel Legends team that we haven't really got yet in figure form. So it's nice to know it's on their radar. This is essentially Carol Danvers in a more powered up state after the brood sort of played around and experimented on her. But I'll get into that in a minute. The figure itself looks quite nice with the sort of flame effects on the white sort of stands out with the orange sort of translucent wild hair with some fiery effects. Then we've seen sort of these fireballs before and then she's got an interchangeable set of fisted hands. But yeah, last Walgreens exclusive of the year. We spin around, we get a picture of binary on the side. On the back, we get another picture of binary. As you can see, no wave association at all. She's a single pack exclusive, but we do get a right of the wreaths. Binary, an alien experiment conducted by the brood transforms Carol Danvers into binary, a being who can tap into unpredictable cosmic power. So yeah, looking forward to opening this one. As I said, she spent some time with the X-Men before she ended up going into space and then becoming a star jammer with binary. But uh, still, it's a nice iteration of Carol Danvers that we haven't got in figure form. So let's open her up. Here we have Binary out of the packaging with all of her accessories on the table. And I've obviously switched to the black background. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to see her because the majority of her uniform is, of course, nice bright white. She comes with an interchangeable set of fisted hands, which I always appreciate. And then the rest of these fiery type effects is meant to represent cosmic energy. And they are effects we have seen before with other legends. Now, first impressions of the figure. She looks very nice. She's definitely going to stand out on the display with this massive translucent headpiece. Uh, but yeah, the fiery top effects with the reds, yellows, and that little bit of orange in there as well is nice. Uh, if I spin around to the back though, she's got these massive peg holes in the back, uh, but nothing to plug in. So what was this figure used for before? before uh, I'm curious, someone in the comments can remind me, but I'll take a closer look at that in a minute. But first, let's zoom in and take a look at that head sculpt. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, as you can see, the face is all red, but you do get the black outline of the eyebrows and then the whited out eyes. But of course, the main event of the head sculpt is this orange translucent hair that comes flying off the back of the head, sort of like a blast effect. If I spin it around as well, you can sort of see uh, the sort of blast effect as it has got a bit of a crevice in there as well but it is like a, a translucent sort of orange that comes out to a darker orange i wouldn't really say yellow it's definitely got orange in it and um, but it's got a bit of a darker gradient tone as it moves out and if you get some nice lights behind this i'm sure the acba ice will be able to do something very cool with this but as you can see it flares out top and bottom like an explosion uh, so as i said it's sort of got a curve in there but it doesn't uh, articulate a head far up because obviously you're going to hit the back so that's as far up as you're going to get the head but you can get a looking down of course but that is a look for binary in the comic she has got that crazy cosmic energy raying from her head and uh, you can see it's a separate bit of plastic literally just glued onto this red head sculpt uh, but still it works it's uh, re definitely represents the character from the comics so no complaints from me there I think it looks pretty good moving down to the rest of the figure you can see she got two black stars out on her uniform and the white to the red seems pretty crisp doesn't seem too sloppy at all moving around to the arm you've got the white to the yellow to the orange outline of the yellow back to the red so sort of like a flame effect if you will again cosmic energy is representing moving down to the legs that same sort of energy effect uh painted on and again those paint lines are pretty clean to be fair to them 
Um, and because the figure's got so much white on it, uh, if there was any blemishes or sloppiness, it would stand out a little bit. Let me move around to the back and show you these massive peg holes. Uh, nothing to plug into these, unfortunately. So we've just got two gaping holes in the back of this figure, which is, of course, disappointing. Uh, what was this figure used for before? What female body mold had two pegs on the back? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm sure someone in the comments can remind me. But yeah, they couldn't fill them in. There's nothing to plug in. So when you've got the hair articulated back, you can maybe hide them, but then her hair's like that. So uh, I don't know, we shouldn't have to do that. So that is unfortunate, of course. Spinning right around to the front, let's go down, and then the legs is just all white. You can see you've got pins in the legs, no pins in the arm, so she's definitely on an older body mold. But again, it's standard female Marvel Legends at this point. We know what we're getting ourselves in for, so I'm not going to sit here and complain. I know what we were getting. Uh, shoulders will go past 90. Only a single joint on the elbow, but they will swivel at the elbow, and then there's a nice hinge on the hand as well. Waist joint, uh, is no waist joint, sorry. There's no waist. It's all in the top of the diaphragm, so you get a bit of wiggle up there at the top. As I said, I'll show you the head. will look down, but hindered going back because of the hair. Uh, but yeah, you can get that out the way. Legs that far out, which is not amazing uh decent amount forward not so much going back as you would expect that's just anatomy folks uh legs so she will double uh, double jointed knees uh, and she can kick her lower back so that's pretty good then of course you've got a nice ankle pivot and there is a cut at the top of the thigh as well so it's standard female marvel legends articulation as i said we know what we're getting ourselves in for for me i'm going to have this character like up on a flight stand uh flying uh with a fiery effects which i'll show you in a second so i'm going to be able to get in some nice poses regardless anyway so i'm not going to sit here and complain about that and she definitely stands out against this black background as well um but yeah first impressions of the figure in hand this is very nice definitely a nice addition to my sort of cosmic display you can sort of sneak her into the back of an x-men display as well as they were like crossing over constantly um but yeah she looks very nice let's check out her accessories so first we get these translucent fiery cosmic energy effect pieces that you can literally wrap around the arms and the hands. Now we've seen these before with Marvel Legends in multiple different colors at this point. Um, and I quite like these, as I said, they're nice and soft. They come off like that. Uh, this is made of the same sort of translucent color as the hair is with the sort of lighter orange down to the darker orange in that gradient tone. And you literally just wrap it around the hand like that. And then it sort of gives it a bit more life for the display. So I quite like these type of effects. You can use them with other multiple figures. Like if you've got other sort of flame characters, you can use these with them as well. And um, so yeah, no complaints with me on these. I think these are nice. I like they wrap around and they stay in place. And uh, yeah, you can get a post up with these very nicely um, and they work well. As all figures should, she comes with a set of interchangeable fisted hands. Of course, every good guy needs fisted hands to punch the enemies. So uh, I like that. And these are always useful as well for this next accessory piece which are these like fireball effect pieces so again just like the other translucent pieces it's the same color as the hair so it matches and these have a hole in the bottom here and I'm assuming like we have in the past you literally just plug them on to the fist so there's another one and literally you just squeeze the fist in there and now she's got these like cosmic ball energies uh, on her hand. So I prefer the other effect pieces, but these definitely stand out as well. Uh, like she could be throwing a cosmic energy effect or powering up or charging up or whatever it may be. But uh, yeah, these are decent enough if I zoom in a little bit. They have got some nice sculpted detail on them. And as I said, they are the orangey sort of gradient color that matches the hair as well. And um, with a bit of a yellow uh, back to the darker orange on the front. So yeah, I reckon you can use these uh, and use the other ones as well, like this. So as I said, you can combine the two accessory pieces. So she's like even more charged up now on the arms with these fireball effect pieces moving into the translucent sort of wraparound pieces as well. So I quite like that you can use both of them. And as I said, you get her up on a flight stand like this, just get her posed up nicely. And she's definitely gonna pop on a cosmic display uh, with these effect pieces. Uh, so I always appreciate that. So yeah, this is pretty nice. I do want to show you a way to take advantage of those holes in the back of her upper torso. Uh, if we move it around here, you can see I've actually plugged in a flight stand just directly into those holes in the back. Now, I'm sure this wasn't Hasbro's intention. However, we can take advantage of that sort of, not mistake, but 
as I said, it was it would have been nice for those to be filled in. However, I have found an advantage of them. You can plug in a flight stand and now you can get binary flying up there with her accessory pieces. And this is probably how I'll have her displayed on my cosmic shelf, uh, just like this. And you have to admit, up there on a flight stand with those flame effects all sort of attached to her arms, she does look very nice and will definitely pop. And if you get some lights behind her so the translucentness glimmers a little bit, she is gonna look very nice on a display. So uh, yeah, take advantage of those holes in the back, plug her into a flight stand and get her up like this. She looks good. Moving into some comparisons, here we have Binary compared to two other Wall Rings exclusive that got released this year with Nova and Quasar. And I'm sure a lot of the comments of this video are going to be, I haven't even got Quasar yet. Hasbro have says it's a Walgreens distribution issue. As I said, this is a global problem at the minute. I am sure patience will be paid off and you'll be able to get these figures eventually. Uh, but it is nice to have these sort of cosmic characters now rounded up together. Obviously, we also got the Fallen Silver Surfer, uh, but he goes in a different spot. For me, these will all go on the same cosmic display and we just need some more Star Jammers. But yeah, very nice set of single pack exclusives. Here we have Binary compared to the comic version of Captain Marvel. And that figure could do with an upgrade as well, to be fair now, as that was released a few years back. And then we have Adam Warlock as he is all over the media at the minute as he's just been cast in Guardians of Galaxy 3. So we're seeing him in live action form very soon I'm sure but he is definitely a cosmic character worthy being on the display with anyone and uh, yeah these look good. Since I don't have any Star Jammers to do any comparisons with, unfortunately, they are definitely a team that Hasbro need to start dipping into. Here we have two of the sons of the leader of the Star Jammers with Cyclops and Havoc. And you probably can't see Havoc against the black on black, but he's definitely there. Uh, their father, which was, of course, Crosshair, was the leader of the Space Pirates, the Star Jammers. Um, so it will be nice to get him in figure form soon as well. There's also more like Chode. He'd be the big sort of uh, abomination style looking character to have in figure form. Maybe a bot set would be nice down the line but uh yeah binary is a nice starting point for that little space pirates team uh, that definitely have a lot to do with the x-men as well speaking of the x-men here we have two of the x-women with rogue and jean gray and it was just before carol danvers turned into binary that rogue actually absorbed Carol Danvers' powers and memories um, because Carol Danvers was spending a lot of time with the Uncanny X-Men, I believe. Um, but still, she definitely has a lot to do with the X-Men during that era of Marvel. And uh, yeah, here we have two compared to Binary. Here we have our comic binary compared to the MCU counterpart, as this was technically the binary form of Captain Marvel that we got a little glimpse of within the Captain Marvel movie, of course. And you can see how these two share the same effect pieces where they've got those balls and those wraparounds on the lower arms. Uh, it's just the ones on the movie version, a little bit more matte. They don't, they're not as shiny and glossy as the translucentness of the comic binary. But you can see how it's basically the same sort of thing and how they took influence from each other. But yeah, MCU versus comic, always nice to see. And then last, but by no means least, here we have Binary compared to Worthy, Hal, Fire, Hank. Final thoughts on this Marvel Legends binary figure. A very nice cap to the cosmic figures we've been getting from Walgreens this year. And a nice addition to the cosmic display overall as it's a character from the Star Jammers. And the Star Jammers is a team we need in figure form. There's some interesting characters in that sort of Space Pirates lineup uh, that sort of mix and match with many different teams in the Marvel Universe as well. So hopefully this is just the start of more Star Jammers. I know my friend Rectangular would be very happy about that. So maybe single to box set down the line who knows but binary is a nice addition this figure could have been on a better body mold as we know they exist now uh, as this has two gaping holes in the back for no reason which is disappointing i know i found use for them but that shouldn't be an excuse but the figure is nice and clean to be fair the access accessories make sense and the head is definitely going to stand out amongst any legends i'm sure uh, just get some light shining behind that and she's going to glimmer on the shelf but uh, yeah a nice addition to the cosmic display but you let me know what you think in the comments below as always and uh, yeah if you like marvel legends and trust me you're in the right place check out the videos tab find the playlist but most importantly please 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 hit that subscribe button you can also now hit that join button and become a channel member as well quite simply show some love or join the members club much much appreciated you can follow me on instagram at it's dan who and i'm on twitter as well tweet me at dan who reviews and until then people my name is dan w and i will of course see you on the next one.